Hello, Matt here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm really excited about the subject of today's video, so we'll dive into that in just a moment. So I've taken a couple of weeks off YouTube just because I've been super busy behind the scenes. Maybe you've heard if you're on my email list or you follow me over on Instagram, I have just launched my brand new manifestation course, which is called Evolve, something that I've been working on for four months. And I'm really excited about it because like the title suggests, we have to evolve into the personality of the future that we are seeking. And that really is the magic in the key of manifestation. You attract what you are, not what you want. Yet so many people are chasing to attract or waiting to feel a certain way. We have to evolve into that person. And it's the way you think and the way you feel that creates your personality. And it's that personality that creates our personal reality. The world is us pushed out, right? So, so many people try and manifest a new personal reality from the same personality. And that's exactly why I built Evolve. So if you want to know whether that's a good fit for you, then all the details about that course are directly below this video in the description box. Now, moving on to the subject of today's video, which is all about the present moment. And I wanna just offer you my perspective on what the present moment truly means and how when we fully understand the power of the present moment, not can we only manifest our best life, but we can tap into our intuition, we can, can connect with our higher mind, our higher self and our guides, and we can live our absolute best life. So what does it mean to be present? We hear that time, uh, that, that term all the time, right? The eternal present moment. And I think before we dive into that, let's just have a conversation about time itself and why time is an illusion here in three dimensional reality. So you've got to realize that time is an illusion. Time doesn't exist. All that exists is this present moment. Now, I first started to dive into the concept of time being an illusion after I connected with my mother for the first time, because one of the first things I realized when I connected with my mother on the other side is that time seemed to be distorted in whatever dimension she was in, even though my concept was she'd passed 80 months prior when I first connected with her. To her, it was almost like it recently happened. And then even to this day, when I connect with my guides or my mother, even now it's been over five years, still it's to them like it's recently happened. And why is that? And maybe you, if you've ever connected with a medium or watched any any television programs about, you know, haunted houses, you'll you'll know that these souls and spirits have been trapped in these places, some of them for 100 years. And I also I remember thinking to myself as a kid, do they not get bored? Like they've been there for 100 years. And we have to realize that here down in 3D, in a lower, dense, slow rate of vibration, time's an illusion because we've created space. So we have to work out what time is and how it's created. So we live linearly here, right? We have this linear concept of the past, the present, and the future. And therefore, space is created between points of consciousness. So consciousness is what everything is. Consciousness is awareness. Awareness is being present. And being present is paying attention. So then you have your current point of consciousness right now, which is in the present moment. And then you look back at your life and there is space in between who you are now and maybe who you were 10 years ago. And in between those two points of consciousness, there are things that have happened. And therefore you measure that through space. And then where you are now and where you want to become and who you want to be and the life you want to manifest is another point of consciousness in the future with space in between. And that concept there is called space time reality. So whenever there is space, time is created. So then when we collapse space, time's eternal and we collapse space in the present moment. So think about this for a moment. I was on a call earlier with a client who loves to ski. And she said, I love to ski. And I said, I can tell you why you love to go skiing. It's because you're forced into the present moment. Because when you're skiing and you're trying to avoid the trees and you're just on the slopes, you're in the present moment. You're forgetting about the future. You're forgetting about the past. You're not worrying about anything, planning anything. You're in the present moment. And I'm sure when you ski, you never want the day to end. And that maybe six, seven hours on the slopes might only feel like an hour. But why is it then that when we're doing something we don't enjoy in life, time just seems to take forever. 
And that's because we use space between the point of consciousness. So if we start work at 9 a.m. in the morning and we know we don't finish till five, we create space. And then we're analytical about that. And then it seems to take forever. So then the purpose of the present moment is to collapse space. Now, when we collapse space, there is eternal time. And that is exactly what's happening when I connect with my mother or my guides. And you can do the same because truly time's uh, an illusion. All that exists is now. And in the eternal now, you connect with your pure form of awareness and consciousness. And I like to refer to that as the fifth dimension, because we have this third dimension, the fourth dimension, which is the barrier of time. And when we can get beyond time in the present moment, then we get to the fifth dimension where there is infinite potentials that exist there. We have all our parallel lives, our past lives and our future lives all happening in the present moment. And then our guides, our higher self that exist in the fifth dimension can guide us here in the third dimension because they can see everything because they're beyond time. So that is exactly how the present moment can help us. It can help us for multiple reasons, but let's take manifestation as the key concept here to try and understand. When we can find the present moment in meditation and we can slow down our brain waves and we can get beyond our analytical mind, we merge with the fifth dimension, which is the quantum field. And if there truly is an infinite amount of potentials that exist there in the quantum field, then what we can do is just awareness. And that means not analyzing anything. It means just being aware. We can visualize a potential and we can visualize whatever life we seek. And as we visualize that potential, and then at the same time, we have a coherent heart, meaning there's balance between the brain and the heart. And we feel those emotions. We're drawing energy from that realm which then crystallizes into form here in three dimensional reality, because we have to also realize that all things physical here on the plane of three dimension is actually just energy vibrating at a certain rate of uh, frequency. And all things exist here as a physical object because of our five senses, when actually if you were to break it down to its purest form, it's energy. And that energy merges from that quantum field to, to then build things here in 3D. So the way you think and the way you feel in meditation in the present moment is manipulating and moving and attracting and pulling energy from that field. So then most people don't change. Most people struggle to attract things into their life because they're unconscious in the present moment. They're not aware of the fact that they're in the present moment. Now, of course, they all are in the present moment and you are too watching this video. But most people aren't aware of that because they're at work and they're thinking about the future or dwelling on the past. And then that's making them feel a certain way and they feel frustrated and lack. They're unconsciously aware in the present moment. And then they're thinking certain thoughts, feeling certain emotions. And that energy that's coming from that field, that realm, is then crystallizing into the same issues in their life. So the key here is to observe and think new thoughts and feel new ways to change energy. And that's where we start seeing these serendipities and synchronicities come out of nowhere and it truly is fascinating now there's another way of using the present moment you've got to realize that whenever you're under stress whenever anything is going wrong in your life that is because our subconscious mind which is a record of the past is a software program and it thinks on average 60 to 70 thousand thoughts every single day and 90 percent of them are from yesterday so you're trapped in time. So when you can bring yourself back to the present moment, there's never any issues in the present moment. And meditation is the greatest tool for doing that. Now, a lot of people who practice meditation struggle to be present in meditation. They're thinking thoughts in meditation. So how do we do that then? Remember what I said. Consciousness is awareness. Awareness is being present and being present is paying attention. So look at your own life. And if you struggle to be present, it's probably because you're not very good at paying attention. So if your spouse or your friend or a family member is talking to you, are you paying attention? Or are you at the same time thinking about something else, looking at your phone, being distracted by something else? Because if you're distracted by something else, you're in time. So the greatest gift you can give to anyone and yourself is pay attention. Because the moment you pay more attention, you'll be more present. The moment you become more present, you'll become more aware and self-aware. And the moment you become more aware, you merge with the consciousness that builds all things here. Now, also, when you can tap into the present moment, you can be guided. You can ask for signs from your guides, your higher self, your loved ones. 
And they'll give you those signs, whether that's 11-11 on the clock, whether it's a spirit animal, whether it is a serendipity, whatever it is that you want. But you're only going to see it if you are present. Otherwise, you'll be unaware of the signs. So what I teach, what I teach in my coaching, what I teach in my course is that the moment you become present is the moment you can unlock and manifest your absolute best life. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Now, like I always say, if there's any topics, questions that you have, get them below in the comment section here. And I'll try and cover as many as I can going through the next couple of months. If you've got any questions, you can DM me directly over on Instagram. Make sure you're following me over there. All the details about my socials are below in the descriptions too. I post twice a day. I lead by value, but I want to help back. Hence why YouTube is a great platform for that, because it gives me the ability to talk for a little bit longer. So I really appreciate you being here. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you are watching this video and you, you're not subscribed to the channel. If you can do that and like this video, that's going to really help me as well. And like I said, if you want one to one help, there's two ways I can do that. You can either take my course, which is super low priced. I just wanted to give back to the community and, and make it attainable for absolutely everyone. Or if you're looking for some more tailored help, then you can work with me one to one over an eight week period um, where we really dive into your life and how it can help you manifest your best life. So with that said, again, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in another one soon. Take care.